Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I am going to be bringing you a couple new lipsticks and actually four, but two different brands. And I still can't decide if I'm in love with these or not, so I thought I would share them with you. We can talk about how they feel, how they wear, and how much they cost. Mm -hmm. So I'm not wearing any lipstick right now. My lips kind of look Stain, they might be but I don't have anything on them I really don't so you guys the Pat McGrath lipsticks that were launched in Sephora last month but they will be relaunching on the Pat McGrath website here in September I believe September 16th um, I got two of these lipsticks because when I saw Nikki Tutorials put them on her mouth, I thought that that was the most amazing thing ever and I'm like, I want that. <laughs> um, and I also saw on Snapchat the launch party and that kind of thing and so I was just like, this, these look amazing. So I'm going to show you the two I got and we can talk packaging because it's beautiful. They were sold individually in sets of three, and you can buy the entire collection for two hundred and nine 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 dollars. Wow! So this is the shade nineteen ninety five, and I love it. I really, really love it. So it is this nude shade of pink and brown, and it's mauve. I think it's more of a blue undertone. So I feel like this is perfect for me. The other one I got, which what I wanted, so the one I really, really wanted that I think Nikki wore that looked so amazing um, was Elson. And instead I got Obsessed because Elson was sold out. Now Obsessed is more of an orangey red, which I wear. I have no problem wearing things with an orange undertone even though I'm kind of more of a cool based, but I have to admit, you know, it, it takes a little bit of work and it doesn't look good with everything. But I feel like if I had gotten Elson, it would be perfect. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you what they look like. The beauty of these is that they go on so nicely. They really do. Can you tell what I'm saying? They're like mad. So that's 1995. I really think it is 1995 exactly. I wore this shade in 1995. Probably with Bobbi Brown or Mac. That was my, or Trish McAvoy actually. So I love this. I really do. I think it wears beautifully. The con is it's $36 each. And that is not the most expensive lipstick. Tom Ford lipsticks are more money. But still, right? Right? So I love it. But I want to show you Obsessed as well. So my lips are a little bit red from rubbing. <laughs> it doesn't stain your, you know, it doesn't like stay on there forever in kind of a bad way and cling and get chalky and crunchy. It actually stays on so beautifully and wears so beautifully. Now, Obsessed feels a little bit different on me. Um, and I find that happens with uh, product, if, with lipsticks, especially matte lipsticks. They can kind of wear differently. It kills me not wearing lip liner with this, but I figured I would, would keep it really authentic, not influence the shade or wear to show you. So here is Obsessed, and as you can see, it's vivid. It just, it stands off the page. You know what I mean? You take a photo and you are going to see your lips. If you like to stand out, if you like just amazing pigment, orangey red, this is it. It reminds me of Carmine from Besame, 
and it is just a fabulous orange red. It's beautiful. But it's a little much, right? And her teeth are kind of dingy. Careful, because, you know, yellow lipsticks can make your teeth look yellower. My second brand to show you are the new Anastasia lipsticks. They're the matte lipsticks. Um, I saw these on Sephora. I showed you a glimpse of them in my August favorites. It was kind of a honorable mention because I still can't decide if they are quite my favorite yet. <laughs> but I am so glad that Anastasia came out with lipstick. And I think they're lovely. I got two shades. I got Kiss and I got Ruby. And Kiss is a nude pink, kind of a romantic mauve pink. And then um, Ruby is a blue red because I was feeling left out for not getting Elson from the Pat McGrath. So I picked out a blue red from the Anastasia. I will remove this and we shall try those on. Okay, let's start with Kiss in this one. And this formula is very similar to the Pat McGrath. And this shade is very similar to 1995. Let me show you. 1995 is a little bit darker, but you can see how much they... This one is Kiss, and this one is 1995. So the Kiss one has just a smidge more kind of brownish, well, no, actually maybe it's a little more pink, a little more rose. So I'm going to put this on for you. This is a drier matte. So the Pat McGrath are powdery and velvety, truly. And then these are more of a true matte, kind of like the original MAC matte lipstick formula. So here is Kiss, and I really like it. It's very comfortable. It doesn't dry the lips, and it it kind of it doesn't set dry like you know we're so used to liquid lipstick. It just sits comfortably on the lips like a proper matte lipstick. And here is the bonus: these are only eighteen dollars. You can pretty much get two Anastasia lipsticks for the price of one Pat McGrath. Different texture, but very similar, so just letting you know. Yeah, so I'm very pleased with this color, and I like to even emphasize it more with like either a darker pencil or a pencil that blends to just kind of give more dimension to my lips than even like a bit of a top coat, like skinny dip or something just to kind of umph it in the middle. And now I will show you Ruby. Ruby is red classic blue red so here we go here we go ayo ayo so now this formula i felt the ruby formula was a very dry dry matte lipstick like kind of skips when you put it on the kiss formula the kiss shade one didn't do that Because this formula is a little drier, kind of skippy, it's a little harder to put on without a lip pencil. It's very nice. It sits very comfortably on the skin, on the lips. It doesn't bleed. It does transfer. None of these are transfer proof. Let me know if you think that Ruby is more flattering on my skin tone than Obsessed, because technically with it being a blue red, it should be blah, 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 you know, whatever. So, whew, my, my blouse crept up. It's no longer off the shoulder, so I'm just going to leave it. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this lowdown of lipsticks, and maybe if you had been eyeing them, you can either mark your calendar for the relaunch on Pat McGrath, restock, or head over to Sephora and order yourself some Anastasia, or skip them all together, you know? I'm not selling you nothing. I'm just letting you know how they fit felt, how they wear, what they look like. Let me know in the comments which one you liked the best on me or if you're looking forward to any of these. 
these also the Pat McGrath do come in the bag of glitter just like the eye kits came last year you know the drill so yeah lots of glitter comes with the Pat McGrath um, I swear part of it is just the experience so um, I hope you enjoyed this video and you are subscribed to my channel please give me that thumbs up and I will see you next time bye